Hello, this is Martin at PRS Home Water Damage Services in San Diego. We are currently still working on this project here in San Diego County. Emergency flood, water removal situation. As you can see, we have attempted to dry a few areas like the garage uh, over the past uh, few days. And uh, we were not able to dry it within the, the timeline that, that we feel is safe. So we had to perform the removal of all drywall and insulation or, or a large percentage of drywall and insulation from the garage to allow the exposed framing and wall cavities to dry. This is water coming from the dehumidifiers. Uh, so it is still drying in there, but the drywall has been removed. We'll walk the job. Everything else is dry in the home, the walls, except for the flooring. So we'll be removing the flooring today. As you can see, the floors here, they're gonna have to come up. There's no way around it. Walls have been removed a foot high. Living room, here's the uh, family room, I believe. Had to cut everything out a foot high. Kitchen, it's all dry. Hallway, laundry room, we had to remove some drywall that was, it wasn't drying and didn't want to leave it there for too long so we had to remove it it was insulated and it was exterior so those walls usually must come out lower bedroom has also been removed this area is dry This bathroom is, is pretty much, we were able to dry it. Uh, we'll double check it today, but it seems to be dry. You can see the paint was removed in order to allow for ventilation. Now we're going into the garage. As you will note, we had to remove the drywall, exterior walls ceiling had to come out and uh, the walls is trouble drywall in the ceiling two layers of drywall as you can see that had to come out this this portion right here was fine so this is what we had to do in the garage this this was not drying to do in the garage there was no way around it we had to remove it in order to dry the, the structure properly we'll take a walk upstairs as you can see the stairs have been removed and have since dried upstairs we'll double check it today should be dry we had drilled holes here and we'll check the subfloor because it was it was really really wet really saturated so we're gonna have to make sure that that's that's been dried here we had to 
remove this vinyl flooring. We had to remove the toilet in order to remove the uh, the laminate flooring beneath it. Holes were drilled and water damaged drywall was cut out on the exterior walls. Interior walls we could dry. Exteriors have insulation and we had to remove it. So here's the bedroom. This is the northeast bedroom. You can see we removed the flooring. Equipment has been pulled from here because it's dry. And we removed a foot around the perimeter of the wet floors, I mean the wet drywalls. So this is the southeast bedroom. Same scenario. We had to remove the exterior drywalls and insulation. No, this is not an exterior wall here. We had to remove it due to the shear panel. The shear panel will prevent it from drying and we will not be able to check that shear panel unless we remove that drywall to make sure that it's dry. No shortcuts, no corners being cut, all done by industry guidelines. So this is Martin at PRS Home Water Damage Services. Uh, we're continuously working on this large flood. Continue to update the videos as they come in. Our plan today is to remove the flooring. This is Martin at PRS.